Hello and welcome to the Old Geezer's Diary on Tuesday the 2nd of July 2019. It's the second time I'm doing a little bit to camera today as well. It's quite unusual. I'm up to something tomorrow that I thought I'd just like to share with you. Um, I find it interesting and I'm interested in what other people think about it and uh, your your view would be, I'd, I'd like to have your view. So, what I'm going to do is get up at about two o'clock in the morning and drive down to Ramsgate in Kent, it's only about 40 miles away, and there I'm going to film and make a report about um, what's called live animal export. In the UK we've, we've got a, a really thriving, as you know, I think, farming industry, and we export animals in two ways. One is really important and one is really horrible. The really important way is uh, breeders, what are called breeders, and that's breeding stock, so that's pedigree sheep, pedigree cattle, etc., and are sent to other countries, for exported to other countries, to breed and to change or improve the stock of animals in that country. So breeders are a, a big market and they're, they're pretty important and pretty financially important to the farming industry. And then there's live animal export for slaughter. And that's a very different and I find really unpleasant area um, that I'd like to see stopped. It only happens in one place now. Uh, there's a Dutch outfit that travels around the UK buying animals. Uh, they buy what are called cull ewes, which are sheep who have had their day for breeding and are usually in awful condition. And they buy those up very cheaply. They also buy up uh, veal calves for fattening abroad and killing abroad. But it's the, the cull ewes that really get to me because they are very poor animals and they're exported in disgusting conditions and when they're abroad they're possibly killed in different ways and, and awful ways uh, many of them I understand are killed by the um, Islamic method which involves simply cutting their throats and bleeding them out uh, and in some instances that kind of death happens effectively when those sheep are in someone's back garden for a religious festival. A bit scary, isn't it? A bit horrible, I think, really. And all that happens currently is something like four or five, maybe six or seven trailer loads of those animals, four or five hundred sheep to a trailer, go out of the UK every month. It's not a big trade and it's not really important. But the English farmers get a bit more for those cull ewes than they would otherwise. And the people who export them, I think, make a fortune. They keep a ship, especially in Calais, uh, at some huge cost to do this export run two or three times a month. And just paying the mooring fees must be enormous. Um, and the, I, I just think it's so disgusting. I, I, I'm a little bit lost for words on it. <clears throat> because I think, really, that um, we take the animals, um, we um, eat, I eat, I eat beef, I eat lamb, I eat chicken, I eat anything really, but I think that the animals who effectively give their lives for us, we should treat them at the end of their lives with some deal of respect, you know, it it's, um, just seems like a reasonable bargain that you treat them in as humane a way as you possibly can, so that they don't suffer. Uh, at the point of, at the point where they come to the end of their lives, I think that's really important, and I think it's a definition of how human and humane we actually are. To send live animals abroad um, when we have a very uh, highly specialised and highly qualified abattoir industry in the UK, I think it's disgusting anyway. And we're sending those animals away, and they are often killed. In disgusting conditions. So I'm going to go and film that early tomorrow morning and I'll show you some of what um, what actually happens if anything interesting happens or nothing much interesting happens because I think it's important that we all know how our world works. Our world works in some very uncomfortable and unpleasant ways and this is one of them. 
there you have it if you like what i'm doing click on like if you want to keep up with what i'm doing click on the subscribe button if you want to get notifications from youtube of when there are new videos up click on the little bell next to subscribe because that'll bring you those and uh, in general if you've got any comment to make or if you have a viewpoint to express i'd love to read it pro or anti i don't mind it's up to you but i'm fascinated to see what you think okay i'm chris this is the old geezer's diary and I'll see you soon.